Hi, this is Chris Neitzer, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create new pages for your website. So in order to get started, go ahead and click on Create New Pages in the main menu. And this brings us to the Create New Pages menu. You can create up to 10 new pages at a time, and your page names should be letters, numbers, and spaces only. And try to avoid using dashes, slashes, hyphens, commas, and any, any other kind of punctuation marks. Also, avoid using characters that are specific to certain languages, like accents over letters and things like that. Your page name should be no longer than 22 characters. And remember that long page names can create issues on your menu system. So to get started, I'm going to create some new pages here. I'm going to create a music page. I'll create a clients page and a contact me page. You can choose at this point whether or not you want your new pages to show on the menu automatically. So I'm going to choose to show my music page and my contact me page, but I'm not going to show my clients page just yet. When you're done naming your new pages, Go ahead and click the Create New Pages button. And a little message will tell me that my page creation was successful. I'll go ahead and click OK. And this brings us to the Open Edit Pages menu so we can start editing our pages and adding some content. First, I'm going to go and view the website to see what we've done so far. This is our website so far. As you can see, my new pages, the music and contact me page are put on the menu. But the clients page is not on the menu because I specified I didn't want it on the menu. And another thing, unlike in the quick start wizard, my new pages do not have content automatically generated for them. It's up to me to go in and create the content for these new pages. I'll go ahead and close this window. And now you're ready to start adding content to your new pages.